It's a wonderful afternoon here at the end of the road for the Shiseido TD Pro presented by Outer Known. Still in the elimination round, heat number four with Liam O'Brien taking on Ramsey Bulkayam. Ramsey, an absolute warrior coming out of Morocco. First ever Moroccan to be on the top 34. Now top 22 passing the mid-season cut. They've just got so much potential and when someone's tried for so long to get on tour and they finally crack it, here goes Ramsey now. Ramsey now trying to find this hollow section, having to do some creative setup work, just a quick one. And that will probably be a warm-up wave here with Liam O'Brien. Liam now with priority. I know I can do it. Well, of course, we know how good you are in the air, and obviously now we know how good you are in the barrel. Uh, some of those waves you rode right there look just absolutely incredible. From this angle, you were pumping inside the barrel. Also, Sakurama, he'll be able to defend his title there. Can't wait to see a bit cloud break as we look at Lobby start. What a great read on his opening ride flick. Oh, what a meaty wave this one was. And look, he grabbed the rail at the end, but the way he threaded that barrel was just basically one big pump underneath the lip here. Grabs it just to hold on while he connects with that foam ball. But I mean, that was seriously well done. And, Sort of reminds me of the kind of wave Jack was searching for in that last heat, you know, it wasn't necessarily the longest barrel, but... Ramsey's like, yeah, you'll go to Morocco and you'll see his face on the side of a building. He's like, really? he gets blown away <laughs> just looking up and there he is. But it's just all the support in the world for him to do what he loves deep on this one. Stretching out across the reef is Liam O'Brien. Thought there was a moment there where he was going to go the distance, set his line well, had some speed, but got caught. Uh, you know, I'm loving where John is. He's just chilling there in third place and, and uh, sort of hoping he can peak at the right time. Now rolling into this one, Ramsey Bukayam standing tall and enjoying the view from inside the pit. I love that, how he had time to enjoy it. For me, but I believe this is one of the only events where the judges watch the replay from the angle looking into the barrel. Uh, because they want to see if you've touched the foam ball or not. It's so technical, the surfing that you do inside the barrel, it really matters. So the judges will take a look at replays and see what happens inside from that channel view. 100%. And, and that's going to be um, the difference here for these two rides, because Liam was really deep. And he, uh, again, Liam's a sneaky good out here. He's got that really good pump. He'll let, here and let go of your own stand up. Judges love it. I'm sure front side, they love that control. Uh, letting go right behind him, though, is Liam oh, O'Brien. The shootout continues. Backhand versus forehand. Ramsey getting his best so far, and Liam backing up the eight-point ride. Stand tall and get a big pump into the barrel. Right there, he actually grabbed his rail and then let go, but he touched that foam ball. Uh, so this wave was a little more you know, heavy, and I, I think that could give him the nod. I agree. I, I feel like this was had a lot more intensity to it, and, and the technique, the couple of pumps he had to do, I mean, the, this lip was so thick, you could just really see all that energy. Uh, and I think, you know, it was apparent when you bring up that point, Ross, it's really apparent when we're watching Ramsey's. I mean, it's beautiful. He wasn't necessarily so deep. Ramsey's turn, super wow. deep. How about <laughs> that one? The lip was so thick above his head. I love his confidence, how solid he feels on his feet. He's been coming here for a very long time. One more look at this one. Ross, what'd you see? Wow, so that's what he needed. It, you know, case in point, we were just yeah. talking about that. He was kind of chilling, standing tall in that other barrel just before, but this one he had to pump and drive through that West Bowl, and that's going to get the judges excited. They're going to love seeing him navigate his way around the foam ball inside that pit. That's nice and deep. Oh, that, that was exactly what we were talking about. I mean, incredibly well done from Ramsey there, and, and he's definitely going to improve on that last score, that 6-5. I mean, Liam waiting for a score to come through as he's not going to wait for it. Pulls up and under, steps on the gas, and ends up coming out perfectly. These are the heats you dream of when you qualify for the tour. This is probably what's in your mind when you'd be heading to Tahiti, that you'd be going barrel for barrel, getting to show the world what you can do. QS campaign as we look at Liam again here, Flick. Yeah, th this one here, great wave again. I, I don't think it's going to go into his top two, but... Just a great demonstration of, you know, another technique, just really dragging that side of his whole body into the face of the wave, really trying to maximize that time in the battle, or really well at managing his speed here. So, I mean, 
he pulled the trigger and he went. Probably didn't need to. Two tens at the start. And when it's a tie break, some judges have John winning. It was one of those classics as we go into oh another gosh. gigantic pit for Ramsey. He's letting it all out. Unbelievable Fire approach up. there in this scene. One of the best waves we've seen all day. Heavy drop there for Ramsey. Oh my God. What else do you want? The drama? That thing was classic Chopo right there. Oh my goodness. The Moroccan showing the world what he can do, Flick. Wow, I mean, you could drive a bus through this thing. I mean, oh. look how big that cavern is right there. And he just did so well. I mean, that's the most energy I've seen from one wave today. It was insane. I mean, Dude. think back to, I mean, Cole had an amazing wave, similar, oh. lots of energy, but for him to stay on his feet there was incredible. If, if uh, you know, if Ramsey has any back hair. And when you look at the reef at Pipe and uh, Tahiti, they look completely different as well. It's fun to put a mask on at both locations when it's flat and check it all out. This reef is alive and we got Liam O'Brien looking for an 8-2, grabs the rail, let's go, a couple of big drives. Wow. Comes out hands free and will slide out on the shoulder. Knifey drop right there and a couple of pumps. Again, he's doing everything right. Uh, this is a big set wave again. It's going to be splitting hairs for the judges. They're going to really try and pay attention to how long he's in the barrel. But a lot of times you'll get backsiders maybe get one big pump into the barrel under deep, but that was two pumps from Liam. So the judges are going to love that. Uh, I mean, this is, is the heat of the men's event so far. This is a, a crazy battle. And still with a minute 45 on the clock here, Ramsey with priority as we check out another great view of the channel. Liam chasing an 8.2 and judges taking their time. A tough one to walk away from because it's the elimination round. A tough result, but Ramsey will lock in, pulls in under the hood. It's stretching out on the reef. Wow. He's still traveling and comes out without a problem. Check out the last exchange again. Ramsey's last win. I've got to agree with you, Ross. I think he's potentially going to better it. I mean, I couldn't quite see how deep he was. Here we go. We're going to be able to get a good, better look. But, I mean, he's double arm dragging there, and then he's pumping, and then he's double arm dragging again. For Ramsey and Liam, O'Brien's oh, got time. Locks in, burns off some speed, puts himself ultimately deep, and he comes uh, out, wow, lays nice. down the rail. Sick. We just watched a surf oh. movie live from pumping Tehupo. If he improves on that situation, it's going to make it that bit harder for Liam. But this one from Liam, I mean, he got a lot of travel time in this one because... He stalled it, well. Yeah, he did. And then to back it up, when he came out, he did that super stylish carve down, which was in my books. I really loved it. You know, it's funny. It's, it's <laughs> almost like Ramsey was listening to us because we're talking about how maybe, you know, what's... Uh, Liam O'Brien, 767. Not enough, and it will be the Moroccan. <laughs> Ramsey Bukai moving on into the round of 16. Well done, Liam. Well done, Ramsey. Ramsey with the win, moving on to surf again tomorrow here in Tahiti. Insane. Thank you so much, Kaipo. Ramsey coming in from a classic matchup, Goofy versus regular. You guys are going wave for wave, score for score. That was incredible. You got on this boat and you said, that's why you want to make the tour to surf waves like that. Well, how did it feel? 100%, this is it right here, you know, all these years to, you know, to get a chance to, to have a day like today. Liam is a really good surfer and a really nice guy, I really like the guy, and we've had close battles already, and um, yeah, it was back to back, you know, he was ahead pretty much the whole time. He's such an amazing surfer going deep, I was like, you, you know, you gotta wait the bombs, and luckily we had each other, we had bombs, it, you know, one, he was going on one, I was going on one, so yeah, it was amazing heat. That's what you dream, you dream, you know. Digging a little bit deeper into that heat, you said it was a kind of a different thought process as a goofy footer out there. Is there a different takeoff zone or a different wave you're looking for? I mean, not a different wave, but for sure the positioning I feel like is different because, you know, backside you can take off and stall throughout the, you know, throughout the, the on your way down and stay at the same spot. Front side, as soon as you engage, you're already like two meters in front, so uh, you got to be deeper and it's a different approach, you know, to come from behind. And uh, so, yeah, uh, Liam, like I said, he's amazing. He, he had three eights, I think, or something like that. And uh, I had to make it sketchy, you know, to get a, a nine and critical. And uh, yeah, it was amazing, man, amazing. I'm so happy. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I hope, I hope for a day like this and uh, amazing waves and uh, this is it.
And at any point in that heat, did you look down at your shoulder, see that Moroccan flag, and just feel that ultimate pride of competing for your country? I mean, yeah, I do all the time, honestly, all the time. Uh, I know I have a lot of support. You guys can see it too on the, on the WSL post. A lot of Moroccans following, you know, and uh, since, my, since my, the, the start of my career, and uh, now even more since, you know, I'm, I'm at, the, at the top, the best league. So, uh, so yeah, I feel, I feel their support and I'm sure they're, they're up and watching and giving me the, the energy and cheering, you know. So thanks to everyone and uh, tomorrow is going to be a nice day, inshallah. Right on. Ramsey Bukia making it through in a big way.